Here, the question is: minimum test required for statement coverage. And then these options are provided. To do that, let's first analyze the statements and draw the flowchart. Line number one is disk equals to zero. Line number two is order quantity equals to zero. Line number three is read order quantity. Since these are all statements, we can represent it like this. Line number four is if order quantity greater than equal to twenty. Since it is a condition, we have to represent it like this. If this condition is true, line number five. Is disk equal to zero point zero five will execute. Since it is a statement, we can put it like this on the flowchart. Line number six is if order quantity is greater than equal to one hundred. Now the question is where to place it. Since the condition on line number four is not closed. We have to place it under the statement here. If this condition is true, line seven disk equals to zero point one will execute. Since it is a statement, we can put it like this on the flowchart. Now the line number eight is end if. This end if is for condition on line number six. Since there is no else part, we have to close it like this. Now the last line is also end if. This end if is for line number four. Again, between the condition and end if, there is no else part. That means we have to do nothing for else part. And this is how we have to draw the flowchart. With this, the flowchart is complete. Let's use it to get the correct answer. Here we are looking for statement coverage. With this test case, we can cover all the statement in the code. That means we need only one test case to cover all the statements. Option B is the answer.